Welcome to IoT tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to publish data to one of the uh, broker locally available in Malaysia called Fever IoT. Um, so we're going to use Fever IoT to publish our data from DHT11 and known MCU as our microcontroller. Uh, that allow us to read data from DHT11 and publish the data through Wi-Fi to Fever IoT. All right, so this is not MC version two. So basically, you can use. Um, different version of known MCU or ESP8266 but known MCU version 2 so far the easiest development board for known MCU so it is also very very cheap to buy in Malaysia this costs around 20 ringgit um, for DHT11 so this is a DHT11 uh, DHT11 comes in um, various uh, design uh, but it always has these three pins so two pins for power VCC and ground connected to 3.3 volt and also uh, ground on the microcontroller and data right in the middle here is connected to D4 on the known MCU. Sorry, the, the focus is not very good on this camera, but the way that I connected known MCU with the HT11 is straight away in this configuration. So D4 for data, 3v3, which is 3.3 volt for VCC, and GND for ground all right so that is basically the configuration um, how we connect known mcu with the ht11 so the ht11 is a sensor that allow data temperature and uh, humidity to be captured and this is also a very cheap sensor to purchase all right so this is the first step the next step we're going to go to Fever IoT website and register for free account. All right, so you can go ahead to Fever IoT uh, and register yourself a free account. All right, so head over to Fever IoT website. Let's see. Google yourself. Go to feverit.com and register yourself a free account okay so you can see there's a lot of uh, offering so since uh, i already registered myself with uh, fiber it account which is a free account so free account allow you to get uh, 500 api requests per day so it should be more than enough for you to test your development environment. Um, so this is basically the dashboard for Fever IT. Um, so you need to register um, your device first to be able to publish data to Fever IoT. All right, so now um, in my account, there's still no project no application or no devices registered so the first thing that you need to go is go to hierarchy and add new project so let's say um, you need to create new project first so I'm going to create um, IOT um, example so I'm going to put device name um, known MCU DHT11 so provide some description tutorial on favor 
IoT Node MCU DHT11. All right, and then pre press Add. Right, so now we get our SAF project. So by default, you're going to be a you're going to have automatically uh, added with uh, application group and also devices so um, what you need now is the following information note mcu dht11 so your device developer id so you need to get this get your notepad ready so this is your device id developer device id take that and also head over to your account here account setting and copy your right api key all right so if you want to read only you can copy this api key but for us for this project example you need to copy this api key and put it into your notepad for keeping all right so done with that so later we're going to go to data stream and all your data will be published here so this is the second stage the third stage we're going to go to our arduino ide and see the codes that allow us to connect and publish data to Fever IoT. All right, so you can download this code from my GitHub. So I'm going to provide the code, the, the, the link for this code uh, down in the uh, description section. So this code has been tested uh, and it, it works on Fever IoT API version 2. Uh, so the things that you need to change is your SSID, your password, and device ID, my device here. So in my case, I use node MCU DHT11 at Slumberger. So the same here. So this is the, the device developer ID. So take this, put it here. Just change this to your own um, device ID. Uh, and then your API key here, you need to change this based on this API key. So put it there, replace the API key from this to your own API key. All right, so the rest, you don't have to do anything. So just use whatever it is. Um, the codes uh, start from reading the data from the HT11. Oh, but before that, um, trying uh, Node MC will try to connect to your Wi-Fi to your Wi-Fi using your Wi-Fi credential. If your Wi-Fi is working okay um, and be able to connect, uh, make sure uh, you connect to um, 2.4 gigahertz network, not a 5.4 giga 5 gigahertz network Wi-Fi, because Node MC will support on that. Uh, and then uh, once connected, you can check within the loop here, DHT11 read DHT temperature and humidity, print out uh, temperature and humidity, build up JSON string data. Um, here, you don't have to change anything, so use as it is. So here, let, le, later you can see uh, the string built uh, in the data stream. So once you have that uh, built, you can send this to the method called send data to Fiverr IT. So this is the method that receives the JSON data format and send using this client print. Okay, so this is the part that sending the data to favor IoT platform. Don't change anything. All right, don't change anything here. All right, the rest is nothing to worry. 
All right, so let's see. This is phase three. And next, we're going to connect our node MCU together and see how the process works. All right, so make sure you're connected. You connect your node MCU with your computer and go through all the process needed for the node MCU to work with Arduino. So I'm not going to cover uh, on that. You can always go to the following website um, to, in to install um, node MCU driver and all the bot definition um, on this uh, random node tutorial. So you need to do this first to be able to compile this code and upload to node MCU. So please follow this guideline. Um, for DHT11 library, you need to go. You need to download from this because there are a lot of uh, DHT11 library. Some uh, some library can work, some cannot. So you can download from here and install through your um, at zip library here and and uh, add that library into your Arduino library. Alright, so once you get that, let me try to upload this code. So make sure you select your bot to node MC version 1. Um, you can set uh, the upload speed to uh, 9, 9 to 1600 um, speed. And select your COM port. Press upload button. Alright, so once uploaded, you can check your serial monitor and make sure your baud rate here set to serial baud rate uh, and try to reset your baud and make sure uh, connected to your Wi-Fi so this indicate that current connected to the Wi-Fi so uh, Wi-Fi connected this is the temperature this is humidity and this is the JSON data that successfully uh, uploaded to uh, Fiverr IoT platform so there are two data now so let me check favor IoT. You can see now the data stream is coming. All right, keep on coming new data. But be aware uh, for every API request, uh, it eat up your um, the amount of API limit here. So free account limit only to 500. So mine is already 54% uh, usage. So if you want to, uh, if you want to get uh, register for the student version, or you need to, you need to buy. You need to upgrade your account, right? So your data stream here. So you can see this is the data, humidity, and temperature, uh, and then you can download data through CSV easily and then you can open this data and you can do whatever you want with the data um, there you go you can see the device here humidity temperature and time created all right so that basically conclude um, the how to publish data to favor IoT platform um but since this is a free account um you must be aware of the limit of this um, um api request okay you can see api used for every interaction with the platform either sending data viewing data on certain page so you can if you want to upgrade um, i just shut down the non mcu you want to upgrade you can go to the upgrade here and you can use uh, there's a um, uh, number of upgrade available uh, for example for 100 ringgit per year uh, it allow you to add unlimited devices uh, and then with a daily 5000 call api so for 5000 call allow you to let's say daily you get 60 times 60 times 24 hours you have like 86000 uh, second so that one you can divide by 5000 
means that uh, for every 70 second you can send one data um, to be able uh, to be able to, to, to completely use 5000 API requests per day or you can you can have more or you can also use SMS for this to work with uh, but I believe they do have Fever IT do have the other um, packages that you can subscribe to if you like to so you can go to the Fiverr IT platform uh, pricing and you can choose um, if you are into serious IoT ecosystem you can you can subscribe to a much higher uh, account privilege alright so I think that's all uh, later uh, I'm going to look in the application site where we can read data from uh, Fiverr uh, from the uh, Fiverr IoT platform uh, through mobile application. With that, thank you.